See, that's one of the things I appreciate about you, right? If you follow your podcast, which by the way is the Keeping It Real Estate podcast, it's fantastic. I listened to an episode on the way over here. We're talking about your good friend Corey Charles, and it was mm -hmm. it was gold. But if you follow you on social media or you follow any of your content, you're somebody that challenges status quo. It seems mm -hmm. you you almost um, it makes sense that you would go out on your own because it seemingly if it doesn't fit your eye, you would have a challenge continuing on a path or just taking information without putting it through a filter and making your own decision. And sure. so I do want to hear about speaking of the real estate, you know, things like that. Like what are the activities that that you feel like were in the past that that maybe Anisia was doing or uh, maybe that some agents are doing that watch this this video are doing right now and they're not getting the results and you feel like you've molded into your process mm -hmm. to where it, it's kind of your own because that that is one of the things I really appreciate about you is going out on a limb and you're very yourself. It's very authentic when you're on social. You'll post something that may offend somebody, mm -hmm. but ultimately it's consistent with stuff throughout you, you know, and I, I can appreciate that in this world. Yeah, and uh, you know, it's interesting because it's never my intent to offend sure. people, but it's a byproduct sometimes of, um, giving a genuine message and so I always kind of uh, I try to relate it to comedians when a comic gets up on stage and does their routine and they offend people that just means they miss by a little bit right because comedy right is that edge between like yes. talking about the obvious in the most ridiculous manner and so you know oftentimes a comedian will miss and offend people but the thing is Internally, when that comedian was putting together that bit, it was the same juices flowing when he offended someone, when right. the result was offensive, versus when the result is they kill it sure. and they make everyone laugh. And so that's why I like to give people a little bit of grace because I think intent oftentimes matters a lot with these things. I think being genuine is important. Um, I, I don't know how to not be genuine, you know, which is... But, which is fantastic in a culture that's why i think for you whether it's social on your podcast it comes through that way and i think it's very attractive because there are so many people out there that will go the other route or put out content or talk about things that they do that are very you know the way that they were done before and i think yeah that comes off that way yeah and i think so being genuine in social media right like everybody talks about that you should be genuine in social media everybody said talks about authenticity we have all these little catch words noises that come out of our face that sort of catch fire and become um, mainstream but it goes beyond that being authentic sometimes means not just being authentic about the things that you know it's are agreeable to everyone right but in the case of someone like me who's now you know i've built a a, a good sized real estate business i'm proud of where we are um I'm, I'm proud of the influence that i have in other agents those agents don't have a platform. Those agents don't have a voice. When there's a company out there, when there is a coaching program taking advantage of agents, when there's a company taking advantage of agents, when there's companies signing up agents just because they'll charge $59 a month like a gym, but they hope you never show up, you know, those agents don't have a way to make that, um, make that public or be heard. But when someone said, you know, like, you know, someone at my level stands up and says, Hey guys, this is not right. It doesn't affect me. I'm, you know, I don't have a dog in this fight, but we're doing a disservice to these up and coming agents mm -hmm. by signing them up to these coaching programs that take most of their income when they do finally earn an income. Um, yeah, it, it rubs some people the wrong way because there's gatekeepers. You know, there's a lot of people that are gatekeepers that are high producing agents, brokers, offices, companies that are gatekeepers to this. Uh, I would say dubious business practices at best that maintain the status quo of real estate oftentimes. Mm -hmm.